Hi guys, Small Wonder, welcome back to my channel. And today I will tell you 10 tips how to make your lashes grow long, beautiful, and voluminous, and Kim Kardashian-like, super, super long, falsies long. I have used these 10 methods to grow my lashes super long too. And I've also told my friends that had like no lashes. So for my friends that had no lashes, they're getting super long lashes. So th these methods, they do work. But they're not miracle. I actually told you guys before in the last video that I'm a huge believer in science. I don't believe in like these magical things that make your lashes look long and make your skin look amazing in like two hours. I don't think those things exist. So with that being said, it is a process. You can not just get super long lashes like the next day. So it is a process. But if you follow these 10 steps and do these remedies, you will end up getting long lashes. It's the guarantee. I would tell you these 10 remedies and their scientific benefits and reasons why they are a good choice to be applied on the lashes for lash growth. So without further ado, we're just gonna jump right into it. First thing we have, so the first thing is petroleum jelly. And I'm so sorry, guys. I couldn't find petroleum jelly. I could have sworn I put it in my drawer, but it wasn't there. So I'll put a picture of that somewhere here or, or I'll link it to the description. It's just like Vaseline. You've probably heard of Vaseline, the one that's used for chapped lips. And it's supposed to be like super nice for skin, for really dry skin because it's super hydrating. Well, Vaseline has a lot of hydrating properties and it's also non-comedogenic. That means it's not going to clog your pores. So if you put it on your lashes, don't put too much that you're getting blurred vision. Just put a little bit on with a cotton, what do you call that? Cotton swab or your fingers. I just use my finger because I feel like the cotton swab, it, it wastes a lot of products. So I just use my fingers and apply it at, on the top, just like you apply an eyeliner, just like on the top. And then go to sleep and then the next day you will have like really soft moisturized lashes now this is not like a miracle product that would just like make your lashes look long but a long use of this would make your lashes be a lot more hydrated i want you guys to know one thing dry lashes equal brittle lashes dry lashes equals brittle lashes which means that if you have dry lashes they will break that's the guarantee. I will guarantee you they will break if, it, if they're dry. So the point is to keep them moisturized. Just like your skin, if it's dry, you would get flakiness, you would get breakage, you would get eczema and all sorts of problems. And then the number two is castor oil. Now I do have castor oil right here. And it is, I just took the label off. I'm sorry guys, but it's castor oil. So it looks really thick. Let me show it to you guys how it looks super thick here you go so it has a really thick consistency you can either apply this directly to your eyelashes by using an eyeliner wand or you could dilute it with a lighter oil like almond oil or olive oil or something lighter so it doesn't feel that sticky but I would recommend it just applying it by itself because it's super hydrating and it would prevent loss of moisture from your eyelashes, which would then increase the growth. Another benefits of these are that it is amazing for follicle stimulation. It is also antibacterial. So most, most oils are antibacterial because bacteria, they cannot grow in most oils because all living things need water. And obviously oil does not help. It does not uh, mix with water. Oil is non-polar, water is polar, so it doesn't mix. So due to that property, bacteria cannot thrive in oils. So it has antibacterial properties. It also has these proteins and fatty acids that are great to nourish the eyelashes. Number three, I was gonna do four, I'm sorry. Number three is sunflower oil which has it's high in omega-6 and omega-9 which are linoleic acid and oleic acid but the good thing about this is it's higher in linoleic acid that means it's not comedogenic so it's not super thick like castor oil it is thinner in consistency i don't know if you guys can see but 
a lot thinner in consistency. And this is my all-time favorite oil. I put it on my scalp, I put it on my skin, and it's it does not clog, clog pores. So if you guys are wondering that if I put on skin, it's gonna clog pores, it doesn't. And um, I put it on my lashes, and it has helped me a lot to grow them long. So this one is my all-time favorite oil. Number four is comb your lashes. So combing your lashes would cause it to get circulation. Just like your scalp, we comb our scalp so it increases circulation. Combing lashes or massaging the eyelids near the lashes would increase circulation that would cause it to have better growth. So your lashes growth cycle would be better and the nutrients would reach to your lashes. Number five, use serums if you could. If you could use serum, use them. So for me, I had this Rapid Lash, which worked great for me. But you know what? If you're a student like me, you're like, this cost me $36. If you're a student like me, you're like, oh my God, $36 a month. And it's only a month supply. So you're like, $36 a month? I could get like 36 ramen noodles with it. Just kidding, guys. Just kidding. But you know what I mean. It's um, quite expensive. It's $36 only going to last a month. So the alternative to serums would be definitely oils that work great. Number six, use aloe vera juice. Aloe vera juice has vitamins. It has really uh, powerful hydrating properties. It has nutrients and, and it's so powerful and moisturizing it prevents breakage which in turn at the end increases the hair growth and also hair retainment so the hair don't fall out as fast because of breakage and number seven is egg yolk egg yolk has biotin biotin is great for skin hair and nails it's this protein that's supposed to help with the growth of uh, skin hair and nails and by taking biotin you could really enhance your lash growth and just provide it with like nutrients that it needs to grow you know things need nutrients to grow and if you provide them those nutrients it's faster and it's easier for it to grow what i just do is i just take egg yolk and beat it and then i just take a mascara wand or eyeliner wand and i just apply it on my I like close to the lashes so the lash can get the nutrients and I just keep it on for 30 minutes and I just wash it off and just go to sleep or afterwards you can just wash it off and put um, some sort of moisturizer like oil or a serum. Number eight. So number eight is getting biotin supplements. Now eating biotin supplements are supposed to help you internally because you don't just want to apply things on the lashes, you want to heal the growth and increase the, the health internally too, right? So biotin is gonna help you do that and get really boost those follicles to get the optimum and max, maximum growth. Also, and then number nine is taking vitamin D3. Now, a lot of people, I live in California, and I, most of the people here are deficient in vitamin D because the sun here, it does not give us vitamin D. It just burns us. It legit just burns us. Like, our ozone layer is totally damaged, and the sun here just burns us instead of giving us vitamin D. So, most of the people just take supplements. So, I would recommend you guys to be taking supplements. I have... I got this supplement. It is from Spring Valley Company, but I got this from Walmart. So you guys can just go to Walmart on, or find this online. I'll put a link to this in the description box. And I also take the hair, skin, and nails vitamins, which is just high in biotin. You guys can actually see my nails, how long they grow, because I take a lot of these vitamins. If you guys want to know how my nails are so white and how I grow it, just let me know in the description below and I'll let you guys know. And then lastly, number 10, which is whenever you're wearing waterproof mascara, make sure to wash it off completely. Like the waterproof mas mascara, they stick onto the base of the lashes and they pull them out. I remember when I used to wear waterproof mascara and not wash them out, I would just get so much breakage and most of my lashes would just fall out. 
So if you're wearing it, make sure you clean it. What I used, I use, um, let me see what I use for that. Oh yeah, I use almond oil to, you can use any oil. I just use almond oil to get rid of my eye makeup and it takes, it gets rid of everything. It doesn't break my lashes. And also almond oil has bleaching properties. So it's supposed to make your under eye area really, uh, it's supposed to get rid of your dark circles. So they're really good. So these are the 10 steps and if you follow these throughout the time, I'm not telling this this miracle product, but throughout the time you will find results and you will, you should be getting results in within a month. And um, with that being done, I'll see you guys later and do let me know in the comment section below if you guys wanna see my how I grow my nails long and why because i'm a nursing student and it's my summer break right now so when the fall semester starts i have to cut all my nails and i can't be doing a video on how to grow my nails long with short nails because you see how that would be problematic right so with that being done i'll see you guys later bye